On day one, I spawned in as Spidey from Spidey and his amazing friends. I was surrounded by friendly spiders who were bigger than me. Wow, I'm really small. I must be a baby version of Spidey. Wow. But where are my friends? None of the spiders got a chance to tell me because the green goblin jumped out from behind a bush. There you are. Thought you could hide from me with all these spiders? Well, you were wrong, Spidey. Tag, you're it. <laughs> he threw a pumpkin bomb and I jumped out of the way just in time. But the other spiders were caught in the explosion. Oh, no. I was the only one who made it out okay. You're rotten, Green Goblin, rotten to the core. What are you doing here? You're asking the wrong questions, Spidey. You're asking why I'm here, but you should be asking, why isn't Spin here? Right, Spin, Miles Morales, my friend. Why isn't he here? What did you do with him? That's for me to know and you to find out. If you want to get him back, y'all need to come and find me and beat me in a fight. If you can't find my hideout in 100 days, I'll make sure you never see your little buddy again. He threw another pumpkin bomb and disappeared, leaving me alone with my thoughts. Oh no, that evil villain kidnapped Spin, and I only have 100 days to get him back. If I'm going to fight the Green Goblin and win, I need to get a whole lot stronger first. On day two, I decided to get out of the planes and into a new location. With all of the spiders gone, I was completely on my own. And there's nothing for me to climb or swing from out here. I need some tall buildings or some trees. So I headed into the forest. I already had 10 hearts. I sure hope I don't run into any trouble out here. I must have jinxed myself because a group of gremlins came out from behind a bunch of trees and started closing in around me. Uh -oh. Hey, why are you bothering me? I didn't do anything to you. Yeah, they didn't have to. We're here on orders from the Green Goblin. He wanted us to deliver something to you in person. A beatdown. Uh-oh, I'm not strong enough to take on all of these enemies at once. Let's get them, boys. The gremlins were getting closer, and I couldn't see anywhere to run. Was this it? Was I already going to lose on my second day? Hey, pick on someone your own size. I looked towards the voice, and I saw Rabbit skiing towards the gremlins. He skied right into them, breaking through the circle, and I was able to run away before they could get to me. When I finally stopped running, I noticed the rabbit was right behind me. Thanks for the help. No problem. I can't stand bullies. My name is Harry. Hi, Harry. I'm Spidey, but you can call me Zozo. On day three, Harry the skiing rabbit took me back to his home with him in the underground rabbit burrow. It was really nice of him, especially since I didn't have a base of my own yet. Now I have a safe place to rest for a little while where the green goblin wouldn't bother me. Thanks, Harry. This is so nice. No problem, Zozo. Hey, there's someone I want you to meet. He knows a lot about the Green Goblin, and I think he can help you out. He took me to the burrow of a Giza rabbit. Hello, I understand you're going up against the Green Goblin, a nasty fellow. Don't I know it. Well, forgive me for saying so, but you won't get far like that. You need some tools, some weapons, and you need to get a whole lot stronger. I know, but where should I start? The forest to the north has lots of wood. Go gather some so you can start making tools. You'll need to be well equipped with the strongest tools you can find, as well as an open heart and an adventurous spirit. It takes a hero to defeat a villain. And if you really try, you can become the hero that takes down the Green Goblin once and for all. That sounded like a whole lot of work, but as I thought about all the spiders the Green Goblin hurt and thought about Spin being held prisoner somewhere, I knew it was worth it. I guess I'd better get right to it then. First things first, I need to go gather that wood. You'd better go with him, Harry. We all need a friend in tough times, and Zozo has quite the journey ahead of him. Okay, let's go, Zozo. On days four and five, Harry and I went out into the northern forest to start gathering wood. There was no time to waste, so I started punching as many trees as I could. After I gathered enough wood, I built a crafting bench and crafted a set of wooden tools. Hooray, now I can start gathering stone. You're doing awesome so far. Thanks, but I think this is the easy part. It'll only get harder from here. I'll be here to help every step of the way. Every hero needs a sidekick, right? That's true, but enough talking for now. I've got to get enough stone to upgrade my tools. I got to work, and once I had enough stone, I upgraded all of my tools from wooden ones to stone ones. Ready to help me build a base? We need a secret hideout if I'm going to be a real superhero. 
Yeah! We started building the base and made sure to add a room for me and another room for Harry so we both had somewhere to sleep. While we were building, a tarantula hawk flew up and started attacking me. What's the big idea? I couldn't let it get me, not when I was finally making progress, and I definitely wouldn't let it hurt Harry. The fight wasn't easy, but I won. And afterward, I felt myself getting stronger. Hey, I gained a heart. You're one step closer to being a superhero. Yeah. On days six through eight, I explored more of the forest. I wanted to see what other resources I could use to build my base, or if there was any useful item someone might have dropped. As I was getting ready to pick some apples from a tree, I heard someone yelling. Help, somebody, help. Sounds like someone needs a hero. I ran toward the sound of the voice, and I saw a raccoon being attacked by a pack of wolves. Don't worry, I'll help you. I'm your friendly neighborhood Zozo. As soon as the wolves saw me coming, they left the raccoon alone and ran at me. They snapped their jaws, trying to bite me and scratch me with their claws. But I dodged their attacks, and I hit them back with my stone sword. Ha, you're no match for me. I'm getting pretty good at this fighting to defend the innocent thing. After a while, I tired them out, and the wolves ran off and left me and the raccoon alone. Thank you so much. You saved my life. No problem. I'm Zozo. My name is May. I'm sorry to bother you, but you're such a strong fighter. Would you help me with something else? Helping is what I do. I'm so glad. Then please, come with me to the swamp. There's a nasty bad guy there I need help with. Lead the way. On days 9 and 10, May led me to the swamp to help deal with her problem. So, what's the deal with this swamp? I was staying here when this big, mean ogre came in and started stomping around and telling me to get out. He broke my house apart and told me that this was his swamp now and I needed to get out. But all of my things are still here and I don't want to just abandon them. Oh jeez, that does sound like a lot of trouble. I'll do whatever I can to help. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I found you. What are you doing in my swamp? The ogre jumped out, roaring and running right at us. He was much bigger than me, but I couldn't back down. I drew my sword and got ready to fight him. This isn't your swamp. You can't just kick people out. I can do whatever I want. I'm the biggest, baddest ogre in the swamp, which means it all belongs to me. You can't take things from people just because you're bigger and stronger. Who's gonna stop me? Me! I ran at him with my sword, but he grabbed me and lifted me into the air. Then he threw me. I landed hard and got the wind knocked out of me. Uh-oh, he might be too strong. He was getting ready to grab me again, and I swiped at him with my sword. He knocked the sword out of my hand, and it went flying. I had to run and grab it, and I knew if I tried to fight this ogre right now, I would lose. Let's get out of here, May. We'll go back to my base, and when I'm strong enough, I'll come back. I promise. Okay, thank you for trying. I didn't want to run away, but I can't save the day if I let myself get beaten by an ogre. So even though it wasn't fun to leave the fight, it was better that May and I were safe. On days 11 and 12, I brought May back to my base. I built her a room of her own with a chest and a crafting bench. Thank you so much, both of you. Of course, stay as long as you like. We're happy to have you. I was meaning to ask, do you know anything about the green goblin? That monster? I sure do. He kidnapped a friend of mine, and I'm trying to learn more about him. I'm pretty sure he lives underground somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but I've heard a lot of rumors about his underground cave hideout. If you can find out where he is, and you're strong enough to fight him, you might be able to use the element of surprise to help you defeat him. Underground, huh? That's really helpful. Thank you, May. Of course. The Green Goblin is terrible, and I'd be happy to see someone finally take him down. After I talked with May, I decided to add some food sources to my base. I know, I think I saw some chickens in the woods. Yes. So I built a fence to contain the chickens, then I went out looking for them. There you are. Come with me, chickens. I'll show you your new home. I herded the chickens back to the base and got them all set up in the fenced area. Then I cut down some grass and planted some weed at the base. Now we'll have plenty of food, and I learned more about the Green Goblin. What a successful day. On days 13 to 15, I decided to find some ways to get stronger, so I turned to Harry for advice. I think the best way to get stronger is to get some more experience. Explore new areas, go on some quests, fight more enemies. You can't learn if you don't put yourself out there, and upgrading your tools probably won't hurt either. 
That's a great idea! Thank you! If I was going to upgrade my tools, I needed to get mining! I mined some coal and some iron, too! I raced back to my base to make a furnace. Then I smelted the iron and used it to craft all iron tools. Great, now time to explore. Where can I go? I should go somewhere really different from anywhere I've been so far. <gasps> I know, I'll go to the ice spikes. So I gathered all of my new tools and headed off to the ice spikes. Brr, it's getting cold. I'm not used to this weather. Maybe I should have brought some more supplies with me. Maybe you should have, but you didn't because you're weak and you'll never beat the green goblin. Who said that? I looked up and saw a green golem standing on top of a tall ice spike. I did. The boss sent me to check on your progress, and he's gonna laugh so hard when he hears about all this. But first, I think I'll teach you a lesson about trying to be a hero when you're really just a zero. Then he jumped down from the ice spike and landed right in front of me. But I was ready for him, and I had my brand new iron sword ready to go. Not so fast. He ran at me, and I swung my sword. He tried to hit me, but I dodged and attacked again. It was a pretty tough fight, but I managed to win in the end. After I defeated him, I noticed he dropped something. Cool, an explosive bottle. I can use this to fight the green goblin. Yes. I was so excited to show my friends what I found that I ran all the way back to my base. Harry was waiting for me. You should build an armory to keep your weapons. Great idea. So I built an armory, and after I did, I felt myself getting stronger. Whoa, I gained two hearts. On days 16 to 19, I decided to follow Harry's advice and keep exploring to get more experience. Maybe I'll find something else that will help me beat the Green Goblin or make a new friend. As I was looking around, I found an abandoned house. Anyone here? No one answered, so I let myself inside to have a look around. It was totally empty, except for a chest. I opened the chest and found an old book. I guess I'll read it. Superheroes should always take the time to read every now and again. As I read the book, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Whoa, so the Green Goblin is really Norman Osborn, the scientist. That's why he's so good at making those pumpkin bombs. I can't believe it. But it's in a book, so it must be true. Maybe this information will help me later. I grabbed the book to take with me and left the house to head back to my base. As I did, I saw the gremlins from before. Not you guys again. You better believe it, Spidey. The gremlins rushed at me and I fought them off with my sword. When they realized they were outmatched, they started to run away. This ain't the last you'll see of us. Whoa, the green goblin. Tell your boss I'm getting stronger every day and I'm coming to get my friend. I couldn't believe it. I beat the gremlins on my own this time. I was really starting to feel like a superhero who could defeat the villain and save the day. I wasn't quite ready yet, but I had already come so far. On days 20 to 22, I looked for some more bad guys to fight in the forest around my base. I wanted to get stronger and keep my friends safe at the same time. A mutant spider pig attacked May while she was looking for food, and I rushed in to save the day. Get away from her! I swung my sword and defeated the mutant spider pig easily. I was so much stronger than I was on my first day. I think I'm finally ready to take on the ogre and get your stuff back. Are you sure? He's so scary. I am. I just need to make some armor first. I gathered some more iron and crafted myself some shiny new iron armor. With this on, he won't be able to hurt me. I made my journey back to the swamp where the mean old ogre was waiting for me. Back for more, are ya? I'll be happy to beat you again if you didn't learn your lesson the first time. He grabbed me just like he did before, but when he threw me, my armor protected me from getting hurt. Nice try, but I'm ready for you this time. He was so surprised that he didn't have time to dodge my attack. I got him with my sword, then I hit him again. This time, he was the one who got knocked over. Oh, fine, thank what you came for. Just leave before the Green Goblin finds out you're here. He's scared of how strong you're getting, and he's not afraid to cheat and have someone else take you out before you find his hideout. Whoa, so he's actually getting nervous. Don't get too confident. You're still nowhere near tough enough to beat him. Just go. So I grabbed a chest full of May's things, and I headed back to my base. On days 23 to 26, I returned to my base and went to find May. Here you go, I got this back for you. Oh, thank you so much. It has everything I own inside. I was so scared that I lost it all after that ogre destroyed my house. 
Can I stay here for a little while, though, before I find a new place to live? Stay as long as you like. Have you ever thought about building a guard tower to keep the base safe in case the Green Goblin sends any goons this way? That's a great idea. I got to work building a guard tower, and when I was finished, I felt much safer. But I needed some ranged weapons to go with the guard tower, so I gathered flint, feathers, and string, and crafted a bow and arrows. Then May came over to talk to me, and she was holding something. I found this in my chest of items, and I wanted to give it to you, my way of saying thanks for all of your help. What is it? A newspaper. It's enchanted. I think it might be useful for you. Whoa, thank you so much. With my enchanted newspaper, my new guard tower, and my bow and arrow, I was feeling more prepared than ever. On days 27 to 31, I decided to get back to exploring and looking for new ways to get stronger. I hiked out to the Badlands to see what I could find. While I was exploring, I saw some tarantula stuck in a hole. I'll get you guys out of there, just hold on. I helped them all climb out, and then I sent them back to my base so they would have a safe place to stay for a while. Spiders have to stick together. After I helped the tarantulas, I looked around the Badlands some more. There weren't any enemies to fight, but there was a lot of terracotta. This looks cool. I'll gather some for my base. I got as much terracotta as I could take with me and went back to my base to decorate with it. I worked hard on creating a beautiful terracotta floor in my room, and when it was finished, I kicked back and ate a snack. But I couldn't rest for very long. Zozo, I need your help. I sprung into action. What's wrong? There's trouble in the rabbit burrow. We have to go help them. Let's go. On days 32 to 35, Harry and I went back to the underground rabbit burrow to check things out and help save the rabbits there. When we got there, we saw a bunch of the Green Goblin's gremlins attacking and throwing pumpkin bombs. They were destroying everything. Not so fast. Don't worry, rabbits. Your friendly neighborhood Spidey Zozo is here to help. What are you going to do about it? I drew my sword. Remember this? They looked pretty nervous, and I started slashing left and right, taking down as many gremlins as I could. I thought I'd beaten all of them, but there was one more hiding behind a nearby wall. Before I could get to him, he pulled out another pumpkin bomb and threw it right at the Giza rabbit who helped me before. No! But it was too late. The gremlin blew him up. You'll pay for this! I took down the last gremlin fast, but I didn't feel any better. I was so upset about the Giza rabbit. It's not your fault. It's the Green Goblin. He did this. You're right, Harry. And we're going to make sure he never hurts anyone else again. On days 36 to 39, I decided to head to the beach and see if I could find anything useful there. I needed all the strength and weapons I could get if I was going to beat the Green Goblin before he could strike again. Are there any heroes out here? Please, I need help. A hero? That's me. Who said that? I can help. Me. I looked over and I saw a walrus sitting on the sand. What's wrong? Out there in the water is my favorite rock to sit on when I want to catch a few rays. But when I try to sit there now, there's a mean octopus who keeps attacking me and trying to pull me into the water. That's not very nice. You wait here, friend. I'll go teach that octopus some manners. Be careful. He's very smart. It's okay. I'm pretty smart too. I swam out to the walrus's favorite rock and waited for the octopus to try and mess with me. Wow, what a nice rock. I sure hope no one tries to pull me into the water. But I did hope someone would try, and I was ready. I didn't think I could fight in the water while trying to swim at the same time, so I would have to be able to fight from a distance. Good thing I crafted a ranged weapon. I grabbed my bow and arrow and waited. Sure enough, that pesky octopus showed up and tried to grab me. Before he could, I fired my arrow at him. A direct hit! He tried to grab me again, so I fired a few more arrows for good measure until I was sure I had won. Then I swam back to the shore to give the walrus the good news. Thank you so much. Are you the hero that's trying to take on the green goblin? I sure am. Well, here's some advice. I heard he's strong, but not very fast. That's why he throws those pumpkin bombs. If you can avoid his bombs, it'll be easier to get him. Thanks so much. I'll remember that. On days 40 to 43, I returned home to my base. It was looking a little bit dull, so I decided to spruce up the place with some torches for extra light and to keep any zombies away. As I was finishing up, Harry came to see me. Say, this looks great. Thanks. 
Do you think we could make room for some more guests to stay here? I met some squirrels in the woods who said the green goblin blew up the tree they were living in. I thought maybe we could help them out. Sure, the more the merrier. Hey, let's build them a treehouse, then they'll feel right at home. Harry and I got to work, and before long, we built a great treehouse for the squirrels to live in. Then Harry went to get the squirrels and show them their new home. It felt good to help more people in need. It was a nice reminder that being a hero isn't just about beating bad guys, it's about helping those who need it. The tarantulas came to see me after I finished the treehouse, and then they told me that they heard a rumor about some baby spiders that were being held prisoner in a nearby cave. Well, I couldn't let that happen. I promised them I would go over there and rescue those baby spiders. On days 44 to 49, I traveled to the cave the tarantulas told me about to save those poor kidnapped baby spiders. When I got there, I couldn't see any baby spiders anywhere. I looked all over the place, but there weren't any spiders in that cave. Huh, that's weird. You fell for my trap, Spidey. Ha 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 ha. The green goblin jumped out from behind a rock. There aren't any baby spiders here. It was a lie. But I knew that would get you to come here. Poor little hero with no one to save. Too bad, so sad. You're scum, green goblin. Oh, you wound me. You're running out of time, Spidey. Too bad you won't be able to save your buddy Spin before I blow him up. And when I'm done, I'll go to your base in the forest and blow that up too. That's right, I know where you've been hiding. Why are you doing this? Because I can. Wish I could stay and chat, but I've got to run. I'll leave you with some company though. Oh, minion! A huge earth elemental came into the cave! Bye, Spidey! The green goblin ran away and disappeared, leaving me alone with the earth elemental. He looked pretty tough. Uh-oh! I had no choice. If I wanted to get out of there and get back to my base, I was gonna have to fight him. On days 50 to 53, I did my best to fight the earth elemental. He was a lot bigger than me, but I wasn't about to back down or let myself get scared. I stared him down and got ready. The earth elemental ran at me and knocked me back into the cave wall. But luckily, I had my armor on and it didn't take too much damage. I jumped back onto my feet and ran at the earth elemental with my sword. I got a few good hits in before he knocked me back again. Next, I climbed up onto a rock and shot an arrow at him. It hit, and while he was recovering, I jumped back down and rushed up to deliver a finishing blow. He went down, and I was the winner! Woohoo! I did it! I really am turning into a superhero! Wait, what's this? There was a book on the ground! I picked it up and started to read. The Notes of Norman Osborn. I hate spiders so much. One day I'll find a way to get rid of every spider in the world, and then I can finally be happy once they're gone. I'm so glad I found this underground cavern to build my laboratory and basin. It's the perfect place to do my work. So the green goblin hates spiders. That's why he's after me and why he took spin. That's despicable. So his lair is in an underground cavern. There's a drawing of a map here showing where it is. I'm one step closer to defeating him once and for all. On days 54 to 57, I returned to the forest and started making my way back to the base. I've got to tell my friends what I've learned. But as I was walking, I heard someone crying for help. I followed the sound and there were some baby spiders in a cage. Oh no, there really are some baby spiders in trouble. Hold on little guys, I'll save you. I ran to let them out of the cage, but I couldn't find a key. Then a phantom swooped down on me. I was ready though and I slashed at it with my sword until it went down. I saw that the phantom dropped the key and also a blast protection enchantment. Awesome, this will help keep me safe from the pumpkin bombs. I took the key and let the baby spiders out of the cage. Be free. Then I went back to my base to let the tarantulas know that I managed to help out the baby spiders. Then I told them all about what I found out about the green goblin and his lair. I showed them the map and they recognized where the caverns were. They promised to help me find the caverns when I was ready to finally have my showdown against the villain. On days 58 to 62, I decided to plant some more crops so that we could have more food at the base. I went into the forest and gathered melons, then planted a bunch of melon seeds next to my wheat. Next, I decided it was finally time to upgrade my gear again. I went back down into the mine where I found my iron and started looking for some diamonds. It took a while and a lot of hard work, but finally I found some. Sweet, time to craft some diamond gear. 
I was able to use the new materials to craft a diamond sword. After that was done, I expanded the base and added some more rooms, including a bedroom for Spin. After all, he's gonna need somewhere to stay when I finally rescue him. On day 63 to 66, the squirrels came up to talk to me. They told me that I might be able to find some useful materials at the stone shores. So naturally, I decided to head out there and see what I could find. When I arrived there, I couldn't see much of anything that would help me beat the Green Goblin. I was starting to feel discouraged. Then, I saw a stone monster coming toward me. Oh no, I guess I have to fight this guy now. But to my surprise, he didn't want to fight. He just wanted my help getting rid of a mean mutant creeper that took over the cove and killed his uncle, Ben. I'm so sorry that happened. Of course I'll help. I asked him to show me where he last saw the mutant creeper and he pointed me in the right direction. A hero's work is never done. I guess with great power comes great responsibility, but I'm ready for it anyway. On day 67 to 70, I traveled to the part of the cove that the mutant creeper had taken over. I could get more fighting experience and help someone at the same time. Just another day of being a superhero. Come on out, you mean mutant creeper. I'm here to dispense some justice. As soon as it heard me, the mutant creeper came out of hiding and rushed at me to attack. It came at me and started hitting me, but I countered with my sword and my armor protected me from the damage. I knew I had to defeat it before it had a chance to charge up or explode. So I had to work fast, faster than I ever had before in a fight. It was hard, but I managed to take down the mutant creeper before it could blow up. Whew, that was a close one. Then I went back to the stone monster. That mutant creeper won't be bothering you ever again. All in a day's work for an up and coming superhero. On day 71 to 74, I traveled to the desert to gather some sandstone. As I was walking, I noticed an unusual rock formation. It spelled out, if you're enjoying this adventure, find more Zozo videos by searching for Zio, Zio. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Wow, nature really is amazing. Now back to what I was doing. Having a nice little desert stroll, eh, Spidey? The green goblin suddenly appeared. I wasn't expecting to fight you so soon, but I guess there's no time like the present. Watching you lose will be a gift. I drew my sword and got ready to fight. The green goblin tossed a pumpkin bomb at me and I had to dodge, but I got caught in the blast. Ouch, I lost a few hearts. I hate to admit it, but I'm still not strong enough. I need to get out of here. So that I would live to fight another day, I ran away as fast as I could before he could attack again. That was a close one. On day 75 to 78, I ran back to my base with some of the stone I managed to gather before the green goblin attacked me. I built a stone wall around the whole base. Awesome, this is looking great. At least something good came out of my trip to the desert. When I finished building the wall, Harry the rabbit came up to me. Zozo, I found something and I wanted to give it to you as a present. Thanks for everything you've done for me. You're a great friend and a real hero. Here you go, it's a cobweb. Whoa, thanks. I took the cobweb and it reminded me of my spidey strength and everything I had accomplished so far. I felt myself growing bigger and I gained three more hearts. On day 79 to 84, I decided to try out my new strength and bigger size by fighting some bad guys. If I wanted to push myself, a good way to do that would be to fight in the cold. So I went out to the snowy tundra to look for some mobs I could fight to keep everyone a little bit safer. I didn't have to look for very long before I found some gremlins bullying a snowy goat. Hey, stop that. Who's gonna stop us? Me! Oh yeah, we're so scared. They didn't know how much stronger I was, so they weren't ready for how much better I was at fighting. It didn't take long before I beat them. I asked the snowy goat if he wanted to come back to my base and stay there for a while. No thanks, I'm good. Could you walk me home though? It's just near here. Sure. So I walked with the snowy goat until he reached his house. You seem like a nice kid. Here. Take this, maybe it'll be of some use to you. Then he gave me a vine lasso. This is great, thanks. Now I can attack the green goblin from a distance. Saving people is its own reward, but it's also pretty nice to get a gift every now and then. On days 85 to 89, I went back to my base. When I got there, I saw there were gremlins attacking. Let's burn this place down before Spidey gets back. 
Too late, I'm already here. Uh-oh. The gremlins ran away, but I chased after them. Hey, I've gotten faster. Before too long, I had almost caught up to them, but I was stopped by the Ragnarok. Please help, those nasty gremlins stole my falconry hood. I need it for my favorite eagle. Don't worry, I'll get it back for you. Using my newly increased speed, I chased after the gremlins and caught up to them. Once I did, I beat them quickly and grabbed the falconry hood to take back to the Ragnarok. Here you go. Thank you so much. It's what I do. On days 90 to 94, I followed the gremlin footprints into the deep forest. This must be where they were hiding out before they attacked my base. Oh look, it's Spidey. Come to lose another fight. There was a gremlin chef waiting for me. Do I know you? No, oh, but you should. I'm the Green Goblin's top henchman. The guy who handles all of his biggest problems. And you're a pretty big problem. A bug that needs to be squashed. He looked pretty tough, but I wasn't about to back down from this fight. I had to prove that I could take on the Green Goblin, so I needed to beat his right-hand man first. Let's do this. On days 95 to 97, I fought as hard as I could against the gremlin chef. At first, it was not going very well. He was dodging all of my attacks, one after another. Man, this guy's tough. Might as well give up now, Spidey. You'll never beat me, and you'll never beat the Green Goblin. But I thought about Spin and everyone else who the Green Goblin was putting in danger, and I knew I couldn't give up. I grabbed the vine lasso and threw it at the gremlin chef. It caught him. I was able to get him still enough to land a hit, and then the fight started to turn around. Finally, I knocked him down for good. As I was getting ready to leave, I noticed that he dropped something on the ground. Cave centipede leggings. I decided to put them on and see what they would do. I went back to my base and realized I could now climb up walls. This is perfect. I'll be able to use this to avoid the Green Goblin's pumpkin bombs and be faster than him. This is just what I needed. On day 98, I was back at my base and practicing climbing walls with my new cave centipede leggings. When I stopped to take a break, Harry came up to talk to me. I just wanted to say, you've turned into an amazing hero, Zozo. I'm so glad I met you. If anyone can beat the Green Goblin, it's you. Thank you. Next, May came up to see me. She brought me some diamond armor. I spent the last few days making this for you. I hope you can use it when you take on the Green Goblin. This is amazing, thank you so much. Then the squirrels and the tarantulas thanked me for everything I had done for them. The tarantulas said that even though I wasn't a real spider, they considered me one of their own anyway. It really meant a lot to me. I was feeling braver and stronger than ever with all of my friends by my side. On day 99, I asked the tarantulas to give me directions to the green goblins underground lair. They told me where to go and I headed out. It was now or never. As I was making my way toward the caverns, a cockroach scuttled past me. You can do it. Thanks, cockroach. I wasn't sure how she knew what I was doing, but I appreciated the encouragement anyway. Finally, I reached the green goblin's cavern lair, but the outside was crawling with green golem standing guard. Oh no, how am I gonna get inside? I'll help you. It was the walrus I saved from the octopus. I'll take care of these guys. You get inside and get to the green goblin. On day 100, it was finally time for me to face off against the biggest, baddest villain around, the Green Goblin. I was pretty scared, but I also knew how far I'd come and how many people believed in me. So you made it. Such a shame you came all this way just to die. He threw a pumpkin bomb at me, but I dodged it and climbed up a nearby wall. I learned some new tricks, Goblin. They won't be enough to beat me. We'll see about that. From my place on the wall, I shot an arrow at him. He dodged it, but I jumped down and swung at him with my sword and it hit him. Then I ran back up the wall and got ready to attack from a distance again. I wouldn't shoot any more arrows at me if I were you. Look what I have. And he had Spin there with him, tied up. I had to get Spin out of the way so he wouldn't get hurt when I attacked the Green Goblin. I thought quickly and used my vine lasso to pull Spin toward me and out of the way just as the Green Goblin threw another pumpkin bomb. Then I remembered, I had the explosive bottle. I could beat the Green Goblin at his own game. Let's get out of here, Spin. Running away, are you? Nope, just getting far enough to do this. I threw the explosive bottle at the Green Goblin. Then I got out of there as fast as I could. 
boom! The cavern exploded, and I knew the Green Goblin was gone, once and for all! I finally had my friend back, and the land was saved! All thanks to your friendly neighborhood Zozo!